So I, I make this very important distinction where India is concerned. India is non-Western. India is not anti-Western. The United Nations uh, obviously lacks uh, credibility and uh, to a large degree effectiveness as well. You know, the world as we live it today, uh, is largely a Western construct. Uh, now, uh, if you looked at the world architecture, uh, to use your words, uh, there's been obviously enormous change in the last eight years. Uh, if one looked at the major economies of the 1940s and 50s, they are very different from the major economies today, and nothing illustrates it more than the G20 itself. Uh, so uh, the, the list of the G20 will tell you is, is the easiest way of actually, uh, you know, uh, getting a sense of the changes in the world. Now, uh, for India, uh, when we confront uh, a largely Western-created architecture, obviously we would like to uh, encourage and facilitate and induce and pressurize changes which are badly needed. But... Uh, we it is done it, as a to add a non-Western uh, layer and a, and a input. So I I make this very important distinction where India is concerned. India is non-Western. India is not anti-Western. Mm, mm. uh, so when we speak about you know and and I give you an example which we discussed even at the G20. Uh, it's very clear today that. Uh, you know, if we are going, we are serious about climate action. If you are looking uh, to sustain, uh, you know, to ensure that sustainable development goals are well resourced, uh, then uh, somewhere we have to find the financial uh, muscle for that. Now, for us to, uh, it is the international financial institutions, the bank, uh, the World Bank, and the fund, which will be at the at the core of that effort. So. A lot of what we are seeking to do is to improve and, I would say, refresh institutions, make them more uh, fit for purpose. Uh, and that even applies to the United Nations. You know, uh, we do believe today that uh, you know, a United Nations, where the most populous country is not in the Security Council, when the fifth largest economy is not there, when a continent of 50-plus uh, countries is not there, uh, that United Nations uh, obviously lacks uh, credibility and uh, to a large degree effectiveness as well. So the whole, you know, when we approach the world, uh, it's not, uh, it's not with a, you know, sort of pull down the pillars kind of approach. It is, it is very much, you know, what can we do to make it better, fitter, efficient, purposeful. That's the kind of mindset we bring to bear.